here with the number two intermediate people's court in Beijing. Human rights lawyer Sha Lin is going on trial accused of fraud. He used to work at the Huai Law Firm, which was known for taking on pro bono cases here. Famous Chinese lawyer Pu Chang also worked at Huai, and Sha Lin was going to represent him before both of them were taken away and are now in custody. Both the cases, in fact, are seen in the context of a broad crackdown on human rights lawyers and activists here in China. Sha Lin is said to have racked up huge gambling debts to the tune of $1.5 million. So this is not such a clear-cut case. He's accused of fraud, but his wife and lawyer don't seem to be denying that the debts exist or that the card games took place where he's said to have lost this money. Instead, what they say is that his friends were coerced into complaining about this and that at worst, the matter should be a civil rather than a criminal matter. So in short, they're saying that this is all being overblown in order to silence an effective human rights lawyer. Outside the building, a group of Charlene's supporters have been gathering. They had hoped to enter the court, but were told the room was too small to accommodate them. Police and security guards have not been too enthusiastic about us interviewing these people but they're pretty determined individuals. Charlene has been in detention since November 2014 and his wife hasn't been able to visit him since then. In terms of testing the veracity of the case against him, well, it's hard for us to do it because we haven't been allowed inside to watch proceedings.